William Nichols once had a ticket on the Titanic. Fate intervened, he missed that ship, and sailed off instead on a journey that tonight finds him being celebrated as one of the founding fathers of golf in Oklahoma. William Nichols arrived in New York on May 24, 1908, after sailing from Glasgow on the SS Caledonia. He uh, had $100 in his pocket um, and made plans and, and informed his mother and father and his two sisters that he was going to leave. Uh, and they were not very happy about it. He was a family man. Uh, and actually, he made all the plans before he came to the United States and at the last moment told his family, I'm leaving for the United States. Uh, and try my hand at being a golfer. He was a pro from North Barrick and a frequent foursomes partner of Fred McLeod, the 1908 U.S. Open champion. Nichols made his way to Oklahoma, which had just achieved statehood in 1907, and began introducing the game. He came over to a, a, only become a state in six months before he arrived. So. Uh, he was really involved in the creation of golf. The good thing about Oklahoma is it had the money. There was a lot of oil money in town, so there was a lot of business people that had the, the foresight to say, I think we can build this game. They had to go to a Scottish golfer because they needed someone that, that gave the game legitimacy and only the Scots knew how to play. He laid out the original nine-hole course at Tulsa Country Club in 1908 and also helped open Muskogee Country Club that same year. In 1910, he helped organize and competed in the first Oklahoma Open at TCC, winning it that year and also in 1911, 1914, 1916, and 1920. With his pipe firmly clenched between his teeth, Nichols was an amazing player but also generous with his time and an excellent instructor. He was simply in love with all aspects of the game from course design through equipment, instruction, and accomplished playing. Nichols competed in the Western Open in 1912 and 1914 and the U.S. Open in 1914 as well. As a professional, Nichols was lured to clubs in Dallas in 1915 and 1916 before retiring as a pro and returning to Muskogee to establish an insurance business. He then devoted his energies to the amateur side, becoming a founding member of the Oklahoma Golf Association, helping create its bylaws and serving as president from 1930 through 33, and again in 1942. And he was still the best player in the state. Nichols won the OGA State Amateur in 1925 and 1927, and the Senior Amateur in 1939 and 1946. He learned the game of football, and so in Muskogee, he was uh, part of the Athletic Association in Muskogee, and then became good friends with a lot of uh, sports people, including uh, the uh, University of Oklahoma coach, Bud Wilkinson. And Wilkinson would come to Muskogee and play golf with Bill. He was kind of the foundation to the whole sport of the state of Oklahoma. He and wife Margaret lived in Muskogee until his death in 1972 at the age of 89, by which time his leadership and love for the game had helped establish Oklahoma as one of the great golf states in the country. He had a thing where from 1899 on, he decided he played golf on New Year's Day every day, every New Year's Day. And so sure enough, he never missed a New Year's Day. If there was snow on the ground, he painted the golf ball red and he still played. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the founding fathers of Oklahoma golf, William Nichols, posthumously, into the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame. <laughs>